so sleepy today. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, uh, keep your mind out of the trash, okay? Okay, so we are here on GitHub. This is Orpheus TTS. This is the most expressive TTS model you can run locally. It's actually pretty, pretty good. You saw the example. But there are a few problems. First, the recommended way of running might take up quite a bit of VRAM. You're also going to need Docker. But I have a better option and it will be much, much faster and you can save a lot of VRAM. So stick it to the end and you will see my version of the setup. However, you can still use Docker with CUDA GPU, with the AMD GPU and a CPU version. You can choose whatever you want. Actually, it's pretty simple. It's not complicated. You just have to git clone this and then install Docker, of course, and then run this command on the main folder. However, it might take quite a bit of VRAM because it will choose a model for you. As you can see here, it will choose a model for you depending on your computer. But you can do even better and install this 2-bit quantization which is much, much faster and much, much lighter. And the quality is still very impressive. Here is the hugging face. You can download the model from here, but there is a better option. So first, what you need to do, you need to install Git, whatever operating system you have, Windows, Linux. If you are on Windows, you just download for a Windows and click Next. That's the installation for Windows. <laughs> if you are on Linux, you can just type sudo apt install git. That's it. You need to type this. I already have this, so I don't need. Now you need to install Conda. Yes, I'm going to use Conda, actually mini Conda, which is much smaller and better. If you have Linux, you can download this installer and then you have to run like this. Open the terminal. You should type dot slash and then the name of the file and that should install on your Linux. However, there is a better method. On Windows, however, it's just a graphical installer. So download and click next. So what I recommend is going here into the documentation of Miniconda and just copy this and paste into your terminal one by one. So copy this one. So this is going to make a directory paste and enter. I don't need to do this. And then you get this one all the way, copy, paste, enter, and then this one, and then this one. After you do that, you're going to need to type this, copy, paste, and then enter. And then this one, copy, paste, and then enter to initialize. After you've done that, you're going to have to install LM Studio. Well, actually, you don't have to install because lucky for us, it's portable. Even for Linux, it's an app image. So you just need to download and click and it will launch. So pretty nice. If you have Windows, you can choose Windows. It's going to download an AXE. That's it. You just click and it will launch. However, for whatever reason, the LM Studio doesn't start. You open your terminal and run with this this dot slash the name of the file. So the name of the file should be lmstudio.app image or something like this. So you're going to have to do no sandbox. And this, if you have problem, this should fix. However, I don't recommend you doing this, especially if you're not using a virtual machine. Now, you're going to have to go to the Orpheus Fast API page. I'm going to put a link in the description, of course. And you're going to have to git clone. Copy this, open your terminal here and paste the git clone. This will clone the repo into your folder. Now, you're going to have to edit a file. So you're going to have to show hidden files. Make sure you do that 
on your operating system, whatever it is. Uh, here, it's pretty simple. You just show hidden files. And we're going to have to edit this, the .env.example. I'm going to copy all of it just to make sure to not lose this example. I'm going to just create another one. Create new. Let's do a text file. Call it .env. And then let's paste all of that. This is the important part. The Orpheus API URL. You're going to have to have this. Uh, it's already here. You don't have to change anything. But just in case it's different for you, this is what you should put. So save it. And now we have this file. Now make sure you open your terminal into the Orpheus folder. Now, if you install the Conda correctly, you should be able to create an environment. Conda create dash n and give a name for your environment. In this case, it will be Orpheus and the Python version. Python equal 3.10. So after you create, I don't have to create. I already have it. So you're going to have to now type conda activate Orpheus. After you do that, navigate into the Orpheus folder. And then as they are recommending here using pip3, install dash r requirements.txt. So just copy that and paste and install the requirements. I'm not going to do this because I have on my main machine. And that's what I'm gonna show you now. And to start, you just have to type python app.py and run it. After you do this, open your LM Studio. It should look like this. Go to the search tab and search for Orpheus. A lot of models should appear but you want this one, 3BFTQTK, GGUF, from this guy. First, you need to click download. It will be a download button right here. You click download. After it finished, you will have a model to select here. So just click to load the model and you need to click this button here to start the server. This thing right here, one, two, seven, dot zero dot zero dot one and the port in this case 5005 so here it is orpheus fast api let's test it let's choose english and this voice here you can put these tags for a laugh for example let's try it okay it finished <laughs> oh well <laughs> Let's begin testing. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, let's begin testing. Ah, that was much, much better. <sighs> oh my, oh my. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, uh, you know what you can do with it, right? It's pretty realistic. Mm, let's see what else you can do with it. Ah, here, the emotional tags. Hmm, let's do cough. Oh, I think I caught a cold. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, I think that uh, two coughs were way too much. I think I caught a cold. Uh, there was not a cough. What else you can do? You can yawn. Mm, interesting. I'm so sleepy today. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, uh, keep your mind out of the trash, okay? Uh, anyway, very, very interesting. You can do a lot of things. So, okay, I'm on ChatGPT here and I created this. Let's see if it's any good. Hmm. It's taking way more this time. Okay, it's done. So there I was, standing in the kitchen at 2 a.m., wearing nothing but socks and regret. <sighs> I opened the fridge, hoping for inspiration or leftovers, when suddenly, BAM! <sighs> A single cold spaghetti noodle slapped me in the face like it was personally offended. Mm, I swear it had attitude. Then my cat, who hasn't acknowledged my existence in three years, decided that was the moment to jump on the counter and judge me. Mm. I looked at her. 
sauce on my shirt, dignity on the floor, and whispered, We don't talk about this. <sighs> she blinked once, turned around, and walked away like a mortgage. <sighs> Honestly, I think I need therapy. Or maybe just a sandwich. I opened the fridge, hoping for inspiration, or leftovers, when suddenly, BAM! <sighs> <laughs> so very interesting, uh, very very realistic, as you can see, he didn't follow all of the tags correctly, but uh, still, it did something, it repeated at the end for some reason, I don't know. There it is, Orpheus TTS.